and welcome to my channel. I'm Honey and I make cozy content here on the interwebs. I am a cozy gamer playing mostly Animal Crossing, but I also do play Stardew Valley. I've recently got into uh, Fall Guys. Is that what that's called? Yeah, the little bean game where you run and jump on stuff. That game. And um, I also draw and do you know, pretty much whatever here on the interwebs. I'm also a variety streamer over on Twitch if you want to hang out with me over there. I do mostly Animal Crossing, not going to lie, full disclosure, but every now and again I also do some drawing streams and some Stardew Valley streams. Um, although I will say not as often, I really do love my Animal Crossing still. So we are on my mush core, no terraforming island. I've always had the attitude about terraforming like, okay, no terraforming islands, those are beautiful. I've seen people do them. I've seen people like really do amazing things with them, but I could never do it. And the reason I could never do it is because I'm just not creative like that. Oh my gosh, Poppy, thank you. I'm just not creative like that. I could totally... Um, mess that up like I don't think that I'm that good at decorating like there's no way and I see people do stunning no terraforming islands but I just never thought that I was good enough to do it so anytime I think I'm not good enough to do something that is my sure fire sign that I'm gonna end up doing it because I like to challenge myself in the hardest ways I possibly can so yeah that is what I'm doing here so I made these custom planks and right now I'm just turning it into a, a split pattern, a two piece pattern. So it'll be like centered in those two square things. And if you ever are interested in doing this and you have a plank pattern, you can just move it to the middle and delete one side on one of them and one side on the other. And then you have this nice path that meets in the middle and it'll be centered wherever you want it. And I needed that for resident services. I do have a lot of two square tight wide uh, feel like things. And I didn't want to have to remake the planks all over again because I'm lazy. And I also didn't want super wide ones. I still wanted them to look like the single tile planks, but I didn't want them to um, to be like on one side or the other because that's always a little weird to me. As per usual, um, the last few islands, I am covering up resonance services yet again because I don't know. I seem to not be able to like have resonance services showing anymore. I do figure out a way to flatten this all out, but unfortunately it happens after this build. In the meantime, I just kind of camouflage it with trees, I think. So you'll have to bear with this side gap thing going on with the medieval building sides and the castle walls. I really hate that little buffer space that they require, but you know, there's really not much we can do about it. So yeah, I end up putting like a tree or something in front of it so that you can't see it and hope that that kind of works. And then of course, because I want everything to be the same on both sides, I go ahead and just make everything symmetrical. I'm going to let you watch me build the build resident services building for a little while and then I'll come back to chat about what I'm doing in the front when I start decorating.
Okay, so in front of residence services, what I'm going for is like a cottagey kind of, I don't know, cozy, mush core kind of entrance. I want it to be vibrant and colorful, but I still want it to be mush core and worn in almost. Like I don't want it to look too new, if that makes any sense. So that's why I'm alternating some of the damaged items with some of the um, newer brown brick items like some pieces have been replaced some pieces haven't like it's kind of like patchy and I think that's what I was looking for in this so um putting trees to hide like the little cracks right there like the big old space that's between the medieval building side and just kind of bringing that in a little and then I put another arch next to the storefronts just to have like um, I don't know. I just, I just thought it looked good to like hide the edges of the medieval building sides a little bit more. And then of course I'm going to stick some mush items around because that makes sense, right? I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit off. I'm having a bit of an allergy day today. And things like listening to my own self breathe are bothering me right now. But of course, I brought out like the mush items, the mush parasol. I made this little mushroom cliff edge thing that I'm using on this island. And all of the flowers are white, pink, red, and green. Just because I'm using the red and white mush items. And those colors seem to go the best with this theme. So... That was the idea. At first I had like purple, orange, and yellow, but I didn't really like the way they looked, so I ended up not using them. And then I've been wanting to use the maypole forever, and I do think it looks cute over that daisy, but I ended up um, changing that for like a tree stump, stump later, so there's a spoiler. And I feel like the butterfly models and those kinds of things go really well with Mushcore. So we're going to stick with it. I am using some cacti in some places where I can blend them in a little bit. And mask that sand thing on the bottom. And then here's where I change the custom design underneath the maypole. I just put it on a log because that makes no sense but it's fine it's fine it's cute so um i think that the daisy was just a little too big to use right there so i went ahead and made it made a smaller pattern go right there i will put the code for the mush log like everything else like i said in the description below that one was one that i had gotten off of my discord i somebody posted it on my on discord for me or sent it to me on discord so yeah and now i'm just planting around nature because i love nature and wheat fields because i love wheat fields too and trying to just kind of bring everything together in front of this at some point i am going to make like a meadow like a mushroom meadow leading up to the resident services i just think that'll be a fun way to connect the entrance and resident services so i think that's what i'm gonna go with like some kind of a mush meadow i think that would just be really fun so what are you guys doing for island themes has anyone ever thought of doing a no terraforming island is this just a me thing are you guys curious about it I'd really love to know. It, this is a very intimidating build for me. So I would love to know what you guys uh, think about it. It is really hard to think of the idea of like building and not being able to put like waterfalls and cliffs and like those kind of filler things. Especially when I did the entrance because usually between the entrance and resident services, I do a lot of terraforming. But here you go. Here is our entrance to Aurelia. And hopefully you guys like it. I, 
I am actually falling in love with how this island is turning out. I do wonder how it would look if I terraformed it, but we're not gonna. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this no terraforming island. If you're intimidated by terraforming, hopefully it inspires you to make a beautiful island anyway, because you totally don't need it. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I know you could be doing anything and you chose to spend your time here with me. I appreciate you so much for that. Until next time, bye.